Affleck to live on just $1.50 a day. So what's it like trying to survive on $1.50 a day like 1.4 billion people do each day? So Ben Affleck and a number of cele celebrities are gonna try to do this for at least a day in hopes to share their firsthand experience to their fans and then of course try to promote and celebrate Live Below the Line. And Live Below the Line is an effort of the Global Poverty Project. Thoughts, five words or less. Can't afford the dollar menu. Don't take Jennifer to dinner. Ben Affleck's the best human. <laughs> Goodwill, hunting, and gathering. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was the best one. You know you wish you thought of it. First of all, are you guys surprised to hear that the number is 1.4 billion people that are trying to survive off a dollar fifty day? And that figure is actually really generous because it's not just food like Ben Affleck and the celebrities are gonna try and do. It's housing, it's transportation, it's clothing, it's everything. I didn't know the number was that high. It's great that these celebrities are drawing attention mm -hmm. to it. I didn't know it was 1.4 billion people. So, I mean, that's already a start. I can't fathom having to live on something like that. What do you eat? That's rice, and maybe it's just rice and, and a bean. And a yeah. bean, and that's rice it. and a bean. You go to the dollar store, I've done this in college. Get Top Ramen, Fruity Pebbles, but it's like old Fruity Pebbles because it's a dollar. Right, about and, to expire. Yes, and you just eat that. But do you think it's even possible here in America or even you know Los Angeles or London or Australia to even survive off a dollar fifty no. a day. No, that's tax on anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm one of these people that can't cook either, so I'm always eating out or like takeaway. I could mm -hmm. not think of how I could go a day on a dollar fifty. I think that's fantastic, and I'm so happy to see celebrities not only speak about something that they believe in, but actually live it and then mm. share their experience. But I feel like the challenge is too short. They do hope that the celebrities challenge themselves for five days, but they're saying at least a day, but people do cleanses for longer than that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And they get to go home to their mansions and I all their know. luxuries. Yeah. It needs to be a longer challenge, honestly. I would just love to picture the ones in their mansions going like, this, this is like, so hard. Oh God, this is great. Well, just Can you bring another slave to put my feet up on? <laughs> exactly. Okay, great, thank you. Secret yeah. Cakes just hidden behind. <laughs> I know, right? Exactly. Just, the celebrities just don't bought. get it, who are like, okay, so before we start, I'm I'm just gonna go buy a lot of food and have it on reserve. <laughs> yeah. It's great that you're sending this message out there. It's great that you're getting this number mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. But actually doing something like this isn't really gonna do anything for anyone. If you're donating money or starting a charity mm -hmm. or right. or asking people to donate money, I feel like that's totally different and I think that's a better effort than yeah. just saying, hey, I'm gonna go without eating today. And I agree with you. I think they are hoping to not only you know raise awareness, but fundraise. Right. So they are hoping to fundraise. And the, like I said before, I think that their experience, if they're gonna take the time to share their experience with their fans, I think it'd be a lot more of a genuine experience if they did it for like 10 days. Then people are really gonna listen and then you'll understand what it's like for these people in extreme poverty. Especially if they documented it on film. Yeah. I think that would be super interesting if these celebrities all collaborated on That'd like a cool. mini documentary mm -hmm. together and they did it. That would be super great. What's the least amount of money that any of you think that you could survive on a day? Like seven dollars, I think. Yeah. The dollar menu allows exactly. you to get mm -hmm. seven, seven meals. Seven meals. Yeah. yeah. That's about average. For yeah. Me. In college, there was a period where I quit swimming because I lost my scholarship and I hadn't found a job where I had zero money. Yeah. So I would live off whatever I was able to purchase at the dollar store. Yeah. And I snuck into the dorm cafeteria. It was only for a few months, but I had to. I know my parents weren't doing so well at the time. I, like I said, didn't have a job, lost my scholarship, and I lived off nothing. I mean, I'm not trying to compare myself because they don't have dorm cafeterias to yeah. into like I did. But yeah. you're making mm -hmm. a good point that people do what they have to do to survive. Oh, yeah. Obviously, there are so many people in the entire world that are doing this. It's a weird yeah. place to put yourself in because then you, you try to compare yourself to someone who doesn't have a toilet. Yeah. You know? And you then can't. It's, like, it's like you can't do no, it. No, you can't. So, what do you guys think about these 1.4 billion people that are living off $1.50 a day? What do you think about the celebrities that are trying to raise awareness? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you all next time on Pop Trigger. Hey, you guys. So, of course, you always ask Brie and I where we get our clothes. And if you haven't done so yet, please check out MLTD.com. They're the ones that are wardrobing us. They're awesome. Really great style. And even better, you can put Pop Trigger in the checkout and get 20% off.